Hi everybody, it's Diane. Well, I'm making a video to talk about the earnings for our monsters. We're talking about monster math uh, today. Uh, we're talking about comparing how many coins each of these monsters earn and how that compares to another monster. Of course, our noggin and our mammoth hit their max early. Uh, after just a few minutes, they are already reaching their max where a Wobux reaches his max in 24 hours and an Enterbrot reaches his max in about 8 hours. Um, our Punkletons reach their max in just a couple hours. So if we have an, um, let's zoom in here. If we've got a Wobux and he is four beds. Now he just earned uh, 3,500 coins. Our Punkleton is only one bed, so it would take f four Punkletons. Uh, four Punkletons are four beds compared to an Enterbrot, which is four beds. So one Punkleton is uh, 2,000 coins. An Enterbrot is close to 4,000 coins. So 2,000 times 4 Punkletons is 8,000 coins. So 4 Punkletons, which would be 4 beds compared to the Enterbrot, is twice as much money. Um, and then the Wubux is making 4,500 coins. And the, punk the Punkleton again, is making 2,000 per Punkleton times 6. That's 12,000 coins, because this uh, Wobux is a 6-bedded monster. 6 beds. So 6 beds here for the Wobux made 4,000 coins. And if I did 6 Punkletons at 2,000, that's 12,000 coins. So the Punkletons are making a lot more money uh, than the Wubux and the Enterbrot. But they reached their max at two hours. So if you turned your game off and you didn't play it for 24 hours, they would only make you 22,000 coins. Their max is 22,000. Um, and the Wubux is 518,000. So you'd make more money with the Wubux and the Enterbrot if you play your game maybe once or twice a day. But if you're able to get into your game um, even just uh, four times a day to get the money from your limited edition monsters and your sugar bush, they'll actually make more money than your um, Wobux or Enterbrot. But you have to play the game every few hours. <clears throat> but you can actually... Six of the Punkletons compared to a six bedded Wobux. Um, if you could play, um, collect their coins every, uh, well, if you could do it four times a day, they would actually average out to be more coins per bed per um, minute than the Wobux. So I'm just collecting their coins here now. So, um, so that's just showing you the average. A Punkleton is a one bed, a sugar bush is two beds. I think I got them all. Uh, two beds. So, okay, so that's the collection of some coins on Plant Island. I have a little um, diagram that I made for you that's a handy reference guide. This is comparing um, level 15 monsters that are 100% happy. Um, on Plant Island. So a noggin that is uh, at level 15 and 100% happy is going to make 96 coins per minute. And when he reaches 216 coins, he stops collecting. He's reached his max, and he reaches that max in just over two minutes. So here your mammoth is 72 coins per minute. He's a one. These are one bedded monsters. See the one behind them, and he reaches his max in five minutes. If these monsters were zero percent happy, it would be twice the amount of time. 
So uh, Mammoth, if he was 0% happy, would reach his max in 10 minutes. Reach the 360. The 360 has to do with his level. Level 15 monsters, this is their maximum. And the happier are, the quicker they give you coins. So these are the uh, averages per bed. You'll notice the fur corn, the mall, oct octopus, the frog, the drumpler, the shrub. They're two bedded monsters. And so they, a fur corn makes 120 coins per minute. But per bed, you know, uh, divide that by two because he takes up two beds. He averages 60 coins per minute. Down here, our drumpler averages 72 coins per minute. Take a look at the max here. A Mao and an octopus have a larger max. Um, it may take them longer to get there, 30 minutes compared to 10 to 15 minutes. But if you're playing your game, you know, every few hours, they'll all be maxed out. And which one would you rather collect, the 3600 or the 1400? Um, so the two elements monsters give up their uh, max, hit their maxes, in, you know, 10 to 30 minutes. Here's our three element monsters: the Pummel, the Clamble, the Bogart, the Tigrox. Um, and they're hitting their max in just around two hours for each of these guys. Uh, and this is, again, here's their total divided by three gives us 64 because there are three beds. A Bogart is three beds, 168 coins per minute divided by three gives us 56 coins per bed per minute average. Okay. And his... Here's his max, 22,680, and he reaches his max in 2 hours and 15 minutes. So take a look at this. The Pummel and the Clamble, 22,464 is their max, which is the same as the Punkleton. Um, sorry. Here's the Punkleton. The Punkleton is 22,464 max. But the interesting thing is the Punkleton is only one bed. Where a clamble is three beds, they have the same max. But Punkleton has that max for one bed compared to three. So, a Punkleton is making 192 coins per minute because he's a one bedded monster compared to an Enterbrot who is a four bedded monster. He's only averaging 72 coins per bed per minute. But of course, he's got a much higher max. So if you turned off your game and play, picked it up eight hours later, uh, you'd have 134,000 from your Enterbrot, where you'd only have 22,464 from your Punkleton. Um, take a look at the Sugarbush, Gast, and Wobux. Um, the Wobux averages uh, 60 coins per bed per minute. He's uh, 360 coins divided by six beds is 60 per minute. But he has a very high max of 518,000. It takes him 24 hours. So if you only play your game once a day, you're going to get 518,000 coins from your Wobux. Compared to six Enterbrots wouldn't come close to your 518. If you did six Punkletons, I mean, times... Um, the 22,000 compared to a Wubbux. But if you can get in and collect coins from your Wubbux at least four times a day, um, their average, um, you'll be actually making more money from a Punkleton than you would at a Wubbux. If you can play your game four times a day, uh, you'll make more money from your Punkletons. Um, but of course, uh, when I am sleeping eight hours, um, my Enterprot will give me lots of money. My Wellbox will give me and my gas. My gas here is 14 hours, 17 minutes before he reaches his max. But notice there are only 60 minutes, 60 coins per bed per minute, 67 
Um, Sugar Bush is 145, so he's got a very high average, and Punkleton is the best. The limited edition monsters make more coins than any other monster, um, but you have to play them often, every couple hours, uh, to collect their coins to make that much money. Um, and uh, going back to Noggin, uh, Noggin, he's 96 coins per minute, but he's got such a small max that if you're not collecting his coins every two minutes, his 96 coins doesn't mean anything. Um, Unless you were collecting them every two minutes, but none of us play the game every two minutes. We might play for an hour and collect coins every two minutes for an hour, but not 24 hours a day. So, um, invest in your Punkletons and your Ethereals and Sugarbush. We'll be getting more legendary monsters, so uh, they make us some good coins. Uh, Wobux makes really good coins if you close your game and you don't open it for um, uh, 12 to 24 hours and they're making better coins for you than the Punkleton. But if you're in your game, playing your game often, your limited edition monsters will make you quite a bit of coins. So this is just a... a, a reference for you just some information play your game how you will um i just wanted to share that information with you i thought it was very interesting i'll try and do one of these for each of the islands so you can compare the monsters but this kind of gives you an idea of the wobux compared to a four element compared to ethereal compared to your limited edition monsters and the difference so that's it for now. Just wanted to share that with you. I'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye now.